Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can access Mac files on a Windows computer. Macs, you can see, see mine's over there, tend to use the HFS plus file system. Windows tend to use NTFS and that means that it's quite difficult swapping over files in that sometimes. Now, if you've got an iPod or a MacBook or, you know, you've saved things to a hard drive that's formatted using a Mac friendly system, you're going to struggle to get your files onto a Windows computer. Good example of this is this. I've got a Western Digital Ultra, which is formatted for Windows, and I've got a Western Digital My Passport for Mac. Now, both of these are essentially the exact same hard drive. The difference being this one is formatted for the Mac, this one is formatted for Windows. Now, I don't use my Mac as much as I used to, but I used to use this one um, to do backups, and I stored some other files on it. Unfortunately, I can't get to those files and transfer them over. So what I've been thinking about doing is copying all the files over and then reformatting it for Windows. So how am I going to do that? Well, there's a few different applications that help you do that because there's no native way to do it. This one here, HFS Plus for Windows, apparently is quite good. There's other options here, Mac Drive 10. There's a few other options out there as well. If you search for it, you will find lots of different premium applications. But being the tight ass that I am, I prefer a free solution and this one here, HFS Explorer by Katakombi, I think that's how you pronounce it. This one here works really well and you can see here it works with Intel Mac running Windows, um, HFS formatted iPods, it's, it's quite a versatile thing, it's free to download because it's released under the GPL version 3 license. So um, if I take my Mac, I'll show you what's going to happen. So I'm going to plug this one into my computer right now. Two terabyte. And it should hopefully pop up. There we go. So this is my My Passport from Mac. I can't access these files. I can't allocate a drive letter. I just can't do anything with it. And you can see that it does have a healthy permit, a partition. I just can't get to those files. So what we're going to do is use HFS Explorer. So we'll bring this up. Now, what you need to do is select load file system from device. If you are trying to access something that's on the same hard drive, I believe you would use this part where it's hard disk one, partition one, etc. cetera. Um, you can specify the device name as well if you're plugging something in. Now, what I need to do, if you see here, um, oops, don't need that. Um, I did not want that to happen. So, I'll go up. That was a mistake. So, back into disk management. See, here, I've got disk 2. So, it's disk 2 and partition 2. That is what I want to be doing. You can see it there. Disk 2, partition 2. 1862.67 gigabytes, that's what I want. So if I get back to this one here, hard disk 2, partition 2, load it up, there you go. That is everything on my Mac. That's all the files I'm trying to, to get back to retrieve. And obviously there's a lot of files here that I don't need, so I can pick and choose what I need. Now, one thing you'll notice here is it doesn't really show you a lot of folder information, but you can, um, you can see what's in them. So, for example, this one, photos I need to check, click on info, 1.62 gigabytes. So, you know, I would know that's not too bad to copy over. YouTube backup files, 609 gigabytes. So I'm going to have to put like a large hard drive or something to copy those files over. Those are, you know, backups of videos that I uploaded a few years ago. Might keep them just in the off chance I need, um, I need to use one of them. But it's very easy to extract them. Um, Say for this one, um, click on the folder, click on extract. I have created a folder for this. Backup from Mac. See, I've, I've copied one over already. Extract here. I selected no um, because it, it this option here. I'm not sure if that's the right option or not, but I selected no. What I would do is, um, you know, when you're backing your, your files up to, or, you know, copying them over to another hard drive, another location, make sure you check all the files first before you do anything with the other hard, hard drive. So what I'm going to do is copy all the files over, try and get them all over to another drive, another hard drive, you know, another laptop, 
once I've done that and I've checked all the files are okay, then I'm planning on reformatting the My Passport from Mac because I'm not using it with my Mac anymore. And I'll reformat it for Windows and then I'll use it for backup. You see, it's fairly quick. Obviously, if I was doing 600 gigabytes, it would take a lot longer. But it seems to be working very, very well. This is what I would use. Um, you know, there are, there are premium solutions out there. Lots of them out there. But unless you're really needing something that does something that this doesn't do, um, um, it's not, you know, I, I couldn't recommend those premium ones initially. So my recommendation is HFS Explorer, try this, try and do everything that you need to do with it. If for any reason it can't copy the files over or it can't do something unique that you need to do, then maybe start looking at premium solutions and see if those can, you know, do what you need to do. But for me, I think most people will be happy with Catacombi's HFS Explorer. I'll leave links to uh, this application down below. You can check it out, try it out for yourself. It's free to download, so you've got nothing to lose, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this, please do leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, take care.